Okie dokie. So my game just crashed. Um, but yeah, fun stuff. Maybe I'll throw that up in the video channel later. Uh, this video is going to be teaching you guys how to do uh, visual nav, or <laughs> nav computer uh, updates. So we're going to fly again from Edmonton. Make sure this is all on. Savvy. All right. Basically, when you normally put in a flight path, it uh, generates a direct GPS route to it, which is a straight line from point A to point B or Z, ultimately. Uh, now I'm going to show you. Hopefully, <coughs> if my game doesn't crash again for the third time. A IFR and how to do a VR, a VFR. Sorry, just a direct and basically a low altitudes. Uh, VOR, it, well, IFR does use VOR checkpoints, to my knowledge. But yes. Anywho, we'll take out Calgary. And for the sake of this time, I'm gonna remember that it's CYYC is where we're going to. Last time I tried the Red Deer Regional and it crashed for some reason. So I'm going to try uh, Calgary this time, which is C-Y-Y-C. C-Y-Y-C. Don't forget that, folks. Because I'm bound to C-Y... Wait, wait. C-Y-Y-C? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, C-Y-Y-C. That's, that's pretty easy to remember. Kui. 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 Um, so the point of this is basically most airplanes, once you've complete your checkpoints and uh, you've done your flight, it disappears out of existence, right? And this can be used to create a path around the world, for example, or anything like that, like a, a continual game for anything you want to do to make it more immersive and feeling like you're actually flying the world rather than loading up in different areas and uh, going from there. I mean, obviously you can <clears throat> not use the map and just fly willy-nilly, but uh, any good pilot would know. Autopilot. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Please don't crash. I love you. I love you, game. I love you, computer. All right. Once again, PDF. This is an app screen you want to use to set it up. As you can see, I have nothing on my my screen here. I have no, oops. I have no uh, no waypoints. We're going from CA to CYYC, which is gonna be south of us. So the first thing you want to do, you click on all these buttons here if you like. MFD. You want to find the one that says MFD. Fun left it. Bam. Flight path. Bam. Now if I did have something in here, it would be generated inside here. If it is, you can click on it, hit remove, 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 and make it empty if you like. Where are we going from? We're going from. S let's go tap on my keyboard. Whew. C Y E G. And pop up right here, Edmonton. Boom. Destination <coughs> is going to be <coughs> C Y Y C. Calgary International. And as soon as I hit enter, if it crashes, ugh. Okay, it didn't crash. Excellent. So now we have the destination set, and this this here in essence is a direct flight. It's going to go straight to Calgary. You can click on this button here, reads open the map pointer control, puts the the cursor on the screen. You click and drag. <coughs> you can see it's right here. This is also how you find out other airport names when you're uh, flying by stuff. So if you want to add in a destination point like CYQF that crashed my game last time. I hit in here, I add hit add in route waypoint, type it in, and it's going to alter, it's going to make a three waypoint basically from here to there to, to Calgary. Don't want to do that. All right. So any questions? <laughs> That's direct GPS and how to set it up. Um, basically, the best way to find things further away would be to zoom out like this, really, and either pre-plan ahead, you know, a little bit and write down the, the letters of like where you want to go and stuff, you know? 
or uh, there's a few things. I think there's a way to look at the uh, closest uh, airport to you. Forgot about where that is. Ah, another video for that. Um, okay, so direct GPS, bam. Now, say you want to do an ILS landing, right? You don't want to do just a direct direct. You want to land in prist pristine. So flight pan's made, great. What you need is the approach, which is the proc here. Oh, there's nearest airport right here, by the way. This is where you can find out uh, where stuff is to you and their names of what you could add into the navlog. And also, yeah, cool. Ports and all that. Anyways, <clears throat> so back to it. Go to proc, departure. Since we have our uh, our area, our airport selected already, we can go basically to select the runway you want to use. Um, so in this case, you can see right here in the map, right behind my plane, there it's 33 right there, and I want to go south. So really. If I really want to be technical about it, I want to go off uh, landing 12, it looks like. It's either 12 or 21. I believe it's 12 right here. So I hit 12. So I'll be going down that way to taking off. Departure, you can choose different things here. This, honestly, play around with it because it's going gonna, it's gonna to affect. Here, I'll show you right now. Click on it. And it didn't do what I said it was going to do. It's because I have to hit load still. That's right. If I hit load, it should change that. See, now it's changed to runway 12, so it's going this way. And it's automatically <coughs> aligned me up with some uh, VORs going out of it. So automatically, you already have a little bit of a curve, but that's just departing, not arrival, right? From here, you can change different things. Like, if you want to load in a different way of flying out, you can change the, the, the departure right here and just make sure to hit load. That way it loads in the, the directions you want to go. Um, for really this purpose, I'll just do sea egg and it'll go to Zab and Yurus out. And then that'll be good. Now for arrival, which is coming into Calgary, I'm just going to hit load and just see what happens, honestly. Um, and then we're going to zoom out. And then we're going to click on the button. Uh, click and hold on the mouse. We're gonna get it, try to right in the middle. We're gonna zoom in, use this here. So you can see what it did to the rival. It made it very, it's not bad. I, I jet out a little bit, which is all right, but damn it, it changed it. Um, so basically, yeah, same thing. It changes the how you arrive at it, right? Pretty easy. Yeah, see, it changed all the way over on that side, which is a little weird. So I'll just stick with this here, which was kind of like the closest way in. Approach is making sure you use your ILS, and that's important to do as well, because uh, not all runways are ILS compatible. Ugh, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> not all runways are ILS compatible. I wonder if I can even grip this. Oh, I can. So you can see like ILS 17L, that's the 17 left runway is compatible. Runway 29, 35, 29, 11, 17. These are all compatible uh, ILS, or well, I wanted to say ILS. So I choose say 11. That's right where I'm sitting. Um, and then you can choose your transition if it's like high or low, basically. But since we're low, it's just going to be one thing. And then hit load and activate. Now it's activated kind of in your navcom and uh, your autopilot, I, I believe, and all that. Uh, if you hit activate approach, it would actually turn on. Should have turned on um, the approach button right up here probably inputted the, the last bit of details into it. So now from here, if we click back and scroll down, we'll see that we have a nightmare of things on the screen, but really we're only flying one flight path, which is right down the middle here and into there. If 
click back on your MFD and click back on flight path, you'll see that uh, all, yeah, dang it, Terrace. You'll see that all the uh, flight paths are in here. You can see where the approach starts, which is kind of nice. Fireless 11, right here at Kissel. And you can see like how many feet it'll adjust your plane by. This will be all automatic and stuff now because you've inputted it. Uh, Provided you got autopilot on, you watched the last video, which you did. And um, yeah, that's how you add waypoints in. That's how you do uh, <coughs> direct to direct or a uh, ILS type landing with IFR and VFR. All there is to it really is make sure you have your FMS turned on, which it looks like mine is, because I got the purple line. And you can see it right there. I didn't see it because of the white. And then you just fly. Uh, so I hope that video helped you, Luke. Let me know if you need any explanations or clarification. Really, coming down to it, my best recommendation would be either do this, like I said, like zoom all the way out, and then go into the map pointer and then try to figure out this, a way of doing this. And then you just want to zoom back in really to try to see stuff, you know, or where, if you know where you're going or uh, write down prior hand, just the, in the airport's names. And that way you'll be able to uh, input the data a lot quicker or you can find nearest airport and do this too but that's going to be close to you, not too, too far away. Like Lacombe is here. The cool thing is you can add stuff in here like this. I can just hit add into flight plan <clears throat> and I could choose where to put it in too. <laughs> so now it makes no sense at all. Fly, doo -doo 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 -doo. But yeah, fun stuff, fun stuff. Anywho, hope this helped. Take care.